Hello everyone, Garrett Love here from CM Tuts as well as GarrettLove.com and in this Photoshop tutorial we will be learning how to make this brushed metal look with some engraved text in it on it. So let's start by opening up Photoshop. Once that's ready we are going to make a new image and I found that it is good to make the width 50 pixels bigger than you actually want the width to be. You'll see why later on in this tutorial. So in my case, I'm going to make it 950 pixels because I want the actual width to be 900 pixels. This is just a rule of thumb. It doesn't exactly have to be 50 pixels bigger. It's just a rule of thumb that I come up that I have come up with to stay on the safe side for doing things. So start off by click by choosing the black to white gradient. and make sure you have the opacity on 50 percent now we're gonna go from the, from left from the bottom right up to the top left now we're gonna go to filter noise add noise and make sure that these settings are checked off you want the amount to be at 30 to 40 percent I'm gonna go with 35 percent right now Actually, I will go with 40%. Now, the distribution you want to be Gaussian, or Gaussian instead of uniform, and you want monochromatic checked off. Hit OK. Now, we're going to go back, filter, blur, motion blur, and you're making the angle at zero and the distance set to 85 pixels hit OK and now as you can see um, this is what I was talking about see on the ends here how uh, this isn't exactly this nice brushed metal effect that we have here and this is what we're going this is why I want you guys should make it 50 pixels bigger is because we are going to crop the part that we do want the, the part that actually has that good effect That looks about good. Hit enter. Now let's see what the image size is. The image size is 857, so we are off our mark by about 3 pixels, which isn't really much of a big deal unless you're doing something that needs to be precise. Um, for the effect, just for the purpose of learning this effect, 3 pixels is not that big of a deal. So now that that is done, we're going to go to our text. We're going to get a nice thick text such as impact. I found that works very well. And we're going to type in something. I'm going to type in heavy metal or heavy. Yeah, we'll type in heavy metal. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to get a nice dark gray. That's the color that we really want to get with this. So that's a little bit too dark. It's about good. All right, now we are going to center this by going to our a rectangular marquee tool and we're going to drag all the way through so the entire thing is selected we're going to go back to our arrow tool we're going to make sure that we are on the text layer we're going to come up and we are going to hit center align right there to make it center aligned vertically and center align horizontally we're going to hit apple D or command D or control D to deselect and we are going to go to our text layer and we're going to go rasterize type now we're going to go into FX at the bottom and we're going to go inner shadow and we're going to make the inner shadow at a at a angle of 120 degrees and the percent of opacity is going to be about 90 and we're going to click OK and there you go so we now have this really really nice looking heavy metal brushed um, steel or metal look with an engraved text on it 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it. For more great tutorials, check out youtube.com slash cmtuts as well as garrettlove.com. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.